In this video, we're going to look at how we can use the even and odd root properties when there's more than just the exponent happening in the equation. Just as with other equations where we work through order of operations backwards, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, where we would normally do the adding and subtracting first and then multiplying and dividing, if you keep climbing up that ladder, the last thing we should be doing is the exponent and then anything inside parentheses. So again, this means we need to start by isolating the exponent by doing any adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing first. In other words, this minus 6 in x plus 4 cubed minus 6 equals 119, the minus 6 must be taken care of first before we worry about the exponent. We can quickly get rid of it by adding 6 to both sides, giving us the part with the exponent, x plus 4 cubed, all alone first, equals 125. Now we can get rid of a third power with a third root, as that's the only thing remaining on the left side. Third power and third root go away, giving us x plus 4 equals the cube root of 125 is 5. In this problem, we're working with an odd root, so we only need one answer that matches the sign of the 125. x plus 4 equals positive 5. Finish isolating x by subtracting the 4. This is working inside the parentheses from the problem. That should be the last thing we do to give us x equals 1. And that completes our problem. Let's try another example where we have to isolate the radical first, bef I'm sorry, isolate the exponent first before we solve. Again, here we have 6x plus 1 squared plus 6 equals 10. Before we can worry about the squared, we have to get rid of the plus 6 so that the exponent is all alone. We can quickly do that by subtracting 6 from both sides, giving us 6x plus 1 squared equals 4. Now that the exponent is alone, we can get rid of squared with square root, as square and square roots are inverses, leaving us with 6x plus 1 equals the square root of 4 is 2, and because we got rid of an even exponent, we need that plus or minus. Even exponents, we need a plus or minus. Now we can start isolating x by subtracting the 1, giving us 6x equals negative 1, plus or minus 2. And finally, dividing both sides by 6 gives us x equals negative 1, plus or minus 2 over 6. Now that the x is alone, we'll actually take care of what that plus or minus means. That means in one case, we're going to add, and in another case, we're going to subtract the numerator. As we do that, negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1 over 6. And if we subtract, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 over 6. And of course, that negative 3 over 6 reduces to negative 1 half. And we get our two solutions for x to be 1 sixth and negative 1 half. Again, as we solve with exponents, we must first isolate the exponent, get the part with the exponent alone, doing our adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing. And then once the exponent's alone, we can use either the even or odd root properties. The opposite of an exponent is a radical. As usual, be careful when you clear an even exponent, you need to have a plus or minus.